graduate moment with you, with this <laughs> woman on a, who is this? Can you ah, tell yeah. us who this I, is? I mean, uh, I could, but that wouldn't be fun. I was here season one, yes. and now flash forward, here we are, season five. Crazy. How crazy is it's that It's so for you? crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely been an ongoing uh, experience, that's for sure. Do you ever look back at those cast photos from season one, you're like, that's, that's not us. All the time, actually. Actually, earlier today, we were watching just some random clips from season one, and we were all flashing back. Hayden is the trippiest oh, part. Oh, yeah. Of that, he's like hit ball. puberty. Yeah, girl, yeah like he's, he's like my feet. height now. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. How crazy? is it Because we've possible been sitting in these chairs every for year four for like years. years, right? Yeah. Do you look back at those pictures, and you're like, who are these people? I'm like, oh, why? <laughs> they're like, we've all grown so much. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's crazy. I and mean, you've been here every step of the I way. Because I remember season one, we didn't even get to interview you because you were a secret. Right. Now here we are. <laughs> um, you're going to season five. Your guys are going to hit 100 episodes. Like, how does that feel? It's ridiculous. Um, I, th I think being on the show initially, ju just to start off with, was remarkable. Uh, I was unbelievably ecstatic and excited to be on such an amazing show. Uh, and now five years later, or four and a half, or whatever it may be, five seasons later, I still have the opportunity to portray such an amazing character and be on such a progressive, important show. Yeah. I don't think I yelled at a TV more in a season finale I know, than the I, last season. I actually watched oh, your recap of it. Oh God, I'm sorry. Don't, of it. <laughs> don't no, watch that. No, I loved that. it. I don't know. I came across it. I think, and I like. I'm so sorry. No, it's really boring. I just talk really, about everything you it's did. It's not though, because it's so interesting hearing the like perspective from someone who so you heard me yell at you yelling yeah. but i did yeah. the same thing when i read okay, the script good. so so please tell me that good things are coming yeah okay they are so you're I mean, sitting here so i'm assuming you're getting out of there <laughs> yeah and she definitely has a wake-up call like that okay. whole experience definitely informs her to kind of switch it up and put herself on an upwards okay. trajectory and be more creative and um, kind of do things that are self-fulfilling rather than uh, destructive. Okay. Steph and Lena had quite the roller coaster in season four. We got yeah. divorced, oh. they got married, all of this kind of stuff. Where are we going in season five of them? <laughs> <laughs> well, no relationship is always happy. We have our miscommunications. We have our ups and downs our roller coaster you know but i think that uh it's you know it's a realistic relationship and that n not everything is always happy all the time but they have a very solid relationship they have a very solid love and 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 when you're dealing with five teenagers it's you know there's tend to be there's always tends to be a little tension a little bit a little bit i don't know how you guys do it but you know, <laughs> the key is that whenever things get rocky or fall apart we, we recommit we recommit you know just like anything in life you fall down you fall down you make promises to yourself you make promises to other people but you, you know sometimes you fall and uh, but we just keep on keep on going because that love is real mike when we last left off him and aj kind of had this whole plan about what's going to happen when his brother comes home and everything how's that relationship going forward in season five it's going <laughs> <laughs> things have gotten uh, a bit more complicated uh, uh, I think it's safe to say that things have progressed in a way that will be very interesting so uh, season four Mariano had um, kind of woven quite the web of lies oh. there um, and Always. they're starting to explode so are those gonna catch up with her in this season oh definitely okay. yes most definitely her her lies will definitely I mean that goes for all of the fosters they right. can't keep That's a true. secret for long <laughs> So yeah, everything definitely. This is not Pretty Little Liars, but they're mm -hmm. good at keeping secrets yeah, exactly. for like seven years. Um, so which um, relationship is maybe going to be most strained by all of that? Because you know, her friendship with Emma, there's I think Jesus. it would most definitely be that. Because I mean, at the end of the day, Jesus and her, they're twins. They have that telepathy, they're in the same household, they have to end up talking to each other. Right. They're kind of used to that fighting thing. Of course, but like, I mean, you know, it's, it's a little different this time, yeah. but I, I think he'll definitely be open to the idea of warming up, you know, with, 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 when it, with time. When we left off with Brandon, mm -hmm. he's obviously kind of in a fight with Jesus. What can you yes. tease about that? Yeah, you know, uh, the Jesus of it all right now with his TBI and everything is sort of a touchy uh, area. So, you know, I, I think, and, and also sort of testament to Brandon, kind of the whole idea of maturing and whatnot. Um, he, I, I, I think he sort of takes a bit of the high road with the whole situation, but we'll, we'll see how it unfolds uh, exactly. Yeah, but for him, he's probably thinking he did the right thing to not set 
you know, Jesus off. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, you know, I th ultimately, there's there's no real animosity there. Um, but it is an interesting little altercation that, that we find them in right now. So, uh, yeah, uh, it's it. We'll we'll watch that unfold a bit more for sure. Oh, and it gets rough and it gets quiet in the house. Uh, but it's like a silent, like white anger, silent rage type ordeal. Um, Jesus definitely like doesn't consider Brandon his brother anymore and, and is completely blocked off from him emotionally uh, and and then that takes a toll on Emma and, he, and his relationship and, and his relationship with his brother and the family the dynamic you know it's like if there's one gear uh, that doesn't that doesn't operate correctly in a clock the whole mechanism kind of falls apart um, and it's, it's similar in family situations you know so a lot of unfolds from this resentment and this anger from, from Jesus. There's always so much darkness for uh, Jesus right now. Please tell me that there's some lightness, happiness coming down this yeah. season. Yeah, okay. little bouts of it. Okay. Little sprays of sunshine and vitamin D in there. Yeah. Now with Troy's confession and stuff, so yeah. is she still going to have to deal with this trial? Yeah, I mean, there's okay. still elements of that, and it's, you know, not for sure in the clear, but, uh, I mean, he did it. He, he done did, did do it, it. He and did he do did it. confess. So, okay. That's yeah. Good news. Good it news. is good news. Now with the school storyline, please tell me that Drew's gonna get what's coming to him at some point. I need you to like take charge of that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hashtag Drewshbag. Um, oh, that's a good right. I'm sorry. She more to that. Right there. There. Oh um, God. I can't tell you what ultimately happens with okay. Drew, but he is he is hanging in for the long haul to try to make our lives um, uh, hard, difficult. Um, but you know, we pick, we pick up a season five with the school in crisis because the students are like, hell no, we won't go. Um, or more specifically, education is a right, not just for the rich and white. And um, we're continuing to fight that good fight. Well, now that we see Nick's dad, is there any chance of Nick possibly coming back? You never know, maybe. Okay. I love it when old characters come back. Kind of right? like a fun surprise. Uh -huh. I feel like I forgot about you, but like, oh but wait. wait, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> and then the teaser that came out you know, the protest, we saw you kind of get a little angry there. What's gonna happen with that? Um, I have not seen that teaser, okay. oh, actually. Oh, you haven't? Okay, no. it's on so YouTube. Like, so. so like, yeah, right? Like, check that out. Hell no, we won't go. Keep your hands off my sister. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I mean, I remember the protest. Um, I don't, does it just show me like getting angry? I feel like it shows you maybe try you to throw a punch or something. Oh, yeah, and have to really, re watch really it. Watch. Okay. You should really watch, I'm really excited for that episode. Okay. I think that's actually, uh, one of the scenes I'm most excited for in this season, uh, which I mean says a lot after after going through nine episodes, and right. that is still one of my favorites, um, because it's it's I think it's I think it's really good. And it was a, it was a lot of fun to film. And this new promo that came out I think like last week, it just like tears us apart because it's like you and your dad, and he's trying to like calm you down because you're going crazy, kind of oh, beating everything down. Hey, 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 oh, hey, hey, I get you. It's okay. Just breathe. It's yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. intense. Like, how is that relationship with your dad gonna progress this season? You know, for someone who's never really had a relationship with his birth father, uh, Jesus definitely seems like he trusts Gabe a lot. Um, you know, because I think he's been craving and wanting that for his entire life, and now he has the opportunity to really have that. So, uh, it will progress, and it, it will, I think their bond is gonna deepen, and, and he really, really start to settle and get to a really lovely place. And you get to destroy a room, which is something I've always wanted to go to one of those destruction rooms. Right. So how much fun was that to like go off a space on stuff? So much fun. It was like, that was like, dang, like I get to go destroy stuff, get paid for it, and call it my job, like. Did you have to get it right in one take though? Or like, were they like, we don't have another dresser for you to beat up? <laughs> get it um, right. No, luckily they had a few, so I got, okay. I got to do a lot of takes. Got know? a lot of aggression out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's a moment in the trailer that we have to talk about. Um, there's like a graduate moment with you, with this <laughs> woman on a... Who is this? Can you ah, tell yeah. us who this I, is? I mean, uh, I could, but that wouldn't be fun. But I mean, uh, is this going to be a woman we've already seen? Yes, I, I'd say okay. I'd say we, we've seen her before, for so, sure. Okay. Um, you know, there's... there's Order of elimination, it's not very hard to, to figure. I mean, he was making a connection with someone towards yes, the end of the yes. season. Yes, so, you know, we'll, we'll see him developing, uh, we'll see him developing a relationship for sure that uh, takes, him in, takes him into some intimate situations, I would say. Okay. Um, but also, old, old flings are gonna come back around a little bit. Um, nice. uh, I can be direct about that. Courtney comes around. Okay. Um, and, you know, Courtney was always sort of a question of his responsibility and, and, and sort of morality and whatnot. 
so we see Brandon kind of balancing that out a little more. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's a new little flame maybe All developing. Right. Relationship-wise, we saw you getting close to Aaron. There were some kisses. What's going to go on with that relationship? Good things. Good things. Okay. Lovely Happy things. Happy things. Happy things. Okay. He's a really good influence on her. He totally gets her need to help other people and, like, you know, put herself second. But I think his influence is, like, teaching her how to kind of channel that in more productive ways. So it's it's, it's a good, good thing. Okay. We like it. We and like that musical Aaron. moment with Brandon last season kind of yeah. gave people those Borelli feels again. Feels. But is this just strictly, you know, siblings, friendship, that's how it's going? Yeah, not so much. I just can't ever see them as siblings because I just okay. can't stomach it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like friendship. Okay. And what's going to happen with Jude and Noah? So there were some ups and downs with them. Uh, yes. So we couldn't decide at first if Noah was a good influence or not. But, you know, there was a point at the end of the season where he stood up to you in a way. Yeah. So where is their relationship going? Their relationship, uh, you know, in, in a relationship, it's always learning more about one another. It's always compromising and communicating and making sure that you're listening to what the other person wants and you're trying to both make each other happy but also make sure you yourself are happy, right. you know, on your own. Um, and that is something that's really important within the season is Jude is learning about making sure that he's happy, but also the people in his life that are really important are happy. He wants to make sure that Isabella's happy, or uh, Taylor, you know. Right. Who, who, uh, his friend. Yeah, his yeah. friend Taylor. He wants to make sure his, his boyfriend, uh, Noah, are happy. Um, and just take care of them, but also take care of yourself. I hear you're directing an episode. Yeah. What was it like? being behind the camera and kind of, in a way, bossing these guys around. freaking fascinating. <laughs> um, I didn't boss anybody around. Oh, okay. You know, that one of the advantages of being a cast member and directing was that we all had a natural rapport anyway, and so I, the thing I didn't want it to feel like was like somehow that has shifted. Right. Like, I just happened to have a different role, and that was sort of the, the approach, and, you know, they were just fantastic. I mean, you know, we've been working with a lot of different directors over the seasons, and with me, they just, they just, they turned it up just a little more. It was so sweet and loving, and I'm touched by them, yeah. Is, is there a favorite moment from that episode that you can tease? Oh, God, there was so many. God, there was so many. But, you know, uh, I had a lot of scenes with Maya, and I do a, we, I did a take where uh, the shot, the camera shot didn't, the, the way I set it up didn't work all that well, and, uh, <laughs> and she had to do it again, and she was really good in the, in the take before. And, uh, and I looked at her, and she gave me this, like, I hate you look, but <laughs> with a smile, and then came back and did it even better. And it was just, you know, just a great experience. It was just like, wow, that's what you want. Why they should tune in? Because The Fosters is an incredible show with an incredible cast. Uh, the environment that we get to work with, or at least that I get to, to be on in my own perspective, is remarkable. I think that it's a really important show, and the more people that watch, you're just supporting this and so many others who need it.